Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, um, in this video, I'm going to speak to you about something that's uh, it's related to boys and girls having sex, okay? About open relationship and especially, I think, uh, specifically to Indian movies and the Indian culture, okay? Uh, now, I think this 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 topic came to my mind after I watched the movie Ludo. It's a it's a great movie. I really liked it. I don't watch Hindi movies, but this movie, I mean, I, I generally 99.99%, if anyone tells me watch this Indian movie, I would say, I don't want to waste my time because I've, I've, I find them ridiculously exaggerated, stupid, senseless. No, there's no story, but once a while, some rare movies like The Lunchbox or uh, Dangal. You know, and so Ludo was another really nice thought-provoking movie. And I put a review for that. You can just uh, check it out on YouTube and on my website. However, after I watched that movie, I was... Uh, throughout the movie, I, I don't know, this thought kept coming back of my head. This is not right, okay? And I'll tell you, there is this character, there is this um, uh, girl who is searching for a marriage partner. And uh, she meets up with this guy who is an educated guy, but wants to be a stand-up comedian. Okay? He's a ventriloquist. I hope I got that right. So now, what she's doing is she's checking out different guys. Like in, uh, she's going through dating websites and uh, or marriage websites, finding out suitable boys taking the interview and uh, deciding whom she wants to get married to uh, which is fair enough but the only twist in this is this girl she develops a rapport with this guy uh, he's not rich and uh, but then what happens is she starts liking him and uh, uh, they go out for drinking together and before you know it she's she has sex with him and while she has sex with him, she is still searching for other boys to marry. So it's like she is in the same uh, coffee shop. He's sitting somewhere else and she's taking an interview with somebody else and he's laughing. And after she finishes the interview, she comes back with him and she has sex. Okay. So they are having non-stop sex uh, while she's searching for another guy. Now, let me tell you, I'm not new to this. I have had girlfriends in the past who have done this. I, I have been involved in multiple relationships and I know you'll be saying, oh, what a fucking hypocrite. Um, he was sleeping around fucking other women, but now he's lecturing about, oh, this is wrong. You're right. You're absolutely right that I lived a very carefree lifestyle. Blame it on the upbringing. I never had any. Blame it on the lack of guidance. Blame it on I just got freedom all of a sudden when I was in my, you know, 16, 17, just wanted to break free. And yes, I discovered sex and sexuality and uh, I was busy experimenting. I was a guy with high energy and high testosterone and I wanted to enjoy as much as possible. I didn't get into smoking, drinking, drugs, but sex was my outlet. I loved the attention. I loved the thrill of the chase. Okay. So now I've personally been involved in relationships where the girl is having sex with me but she is going to get married to somebody else or she is searching for a marriage partner or she is about to get married but she is having sex with me. Wow, check this out. Look at this. You're all moving in a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Can you see this? Fascinating, huh? See? I wonder what happens if you put a stone here. Okay, I put a stone. Hmm. Now what do they do? 
Hmm, pretty interesting. See this? Still try to figure out a way. We'll come back and check it out. We'll see if they manage to go around it. Okay, so... So I've been with girls who are having sex with me, but searching for another partner. Uh, in fact, the most, the first time I experienced this was I think when I was 20 years old or something. I'm having sex with this girl. We're actually having full blown sex. She's, you know, I'm on top of her. She's on top of me. She's riding me. And then suddenly there is this call and uh, she's like, oh, I need to take this call. I said, oh, okay. So she's riding me. <laughs> and she, there's this call and then she lies down on top of me. I'm busy sucking on her breasts and, and she's laughing, giggling. And she takes the phone. Takes the phone and, uh, you know, she's lying on the bed. I'm on top of her. I'm still busy putting my tongue in different places of her body. And she's talking in Hindi. And then she's saying, she's saying something like, Oh, you don't trust me and this and that. And then she bursts out crying. When she bursts out crying, I just stopped doing whatever I was doing. I was like, oh, okay, this must be really bad. Uh, what happened? And she was sobbing, 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 sobbing. And she said something, you don't trust me and this and that. And she said, bye. So I, I really was attached to this girl. She was very beautiful. So I was hugging this girl. I said, what happened? And she was hugging me and crying. And I said, what happened? She's saying... This guy who, you know, so close to me, he doesn't trust me. So I said, oh, what happened? Uh, he's saying, no, he's, he's saying that I'm having an affair with somebody else. I said, who? Because until that time, I thought she was my girl exclusively. She's saying, no, this is the guy I'm supposed to get married to. And I'm like, she's here. I'm like, uh, okay, you're supposed to marry this guy. I said, when is the marriage? She said, within a few days. Few days. Saying, yeah, lawyer, and he doesn't trust me. He thinks that I'm cheating on him and he can't trust me. He feels I'm having sex with somebody else. Saying, it's so stupid. I'm not, I'm not in exaggerating. Huh? I'm holding her and I'm like, uh, okay. So he believes you're having sex with somebody else. And then straight away I asked her, like, what are we doing? Like, saying, no, Loy, this is love. This is, we have a special bond between us. You know, it's, uh, society will never understand this. But marriage I want to have with him. So, I'll tell you, I was just, I was like, okay, you want to marry him, but you want to be with me. But we are not having sex, we are having something special. Yeah, Loy, it's something special the world cannot understand. I'll tell you, that time my head was like, uh, okay. And then she wiped it, she said, forget all this, like, let's, let's enjoy the moment together. And then next thing you know, she went down on me and I was uh, still trying to process the whole thing. And uh, well, as soon as she went down, I think my processing stopped and I was enjoying the moment. But it left me thinking like, what the fuck is happening? And when I spoke to one of my friends who was elder than me, he was laughing, he said, just listen, just enjoy, fuck all that. And obviously after she got married, uh, she stopped meeting me and all that. So that was a different thing. There are these other girls, uh, like I told you, I had this girl who I knew from, literally from childhood, who was literally shagging me right from the day we started dating. She never told me that she was searching for a guy to get married. She never told me she found the guy to get married. And uh, I found out accidentally when he said, I love you, Janu, and all that. And then when I asked her, what is this? She said, Loy, this is someone who my mother and father, mother and father want me to get married to. I was like, oh, okay. Then I was under the impression she wanted to marry me. But she said, no, Loy, I want to marry him because it's my father's last wish. My mother's dying wish. And you know, the same girl who I told you, she said, Loy, when I confronted her, and because I was emotionally involved, she said, Loy, what will society say? What is the name of my father, the reputation we have, will all be destroyed if I marry a guy like you with tattoos. <laughs> so, until the day that the marriage was confirmed, we were still enjoying sex. 
Okay, until the day mar after the marriage is confirmed, she stopped. Okay, and I've also had sex with girls who are married, who have a husband, but they were enjoying sex with me. So why I'm telling you all this is not to brag about my sexual exploits. To tell you, I have not been a saint. Okay, I've done my share of shit. But now the difference between what was happening then and what is happening now is. That time it used to remain as a hush hush thing. It used to remain like a thing that was shameful, a thing that you could not say in society or openly. But today, what I've realized it's it's become a fashion statement. It's become a fashion statement where oh, I'm fucking that guy. Oh wow! Yeah, I'll I'll tell you the the clients that I get who share with me confidential information. They book a session. They start speaking to me. I know this Muslim lady who. Who is online? Who is a kind of a celebrity of sorts? Not celebrity. Uh, many followers. I'll not give too many details because if I were to tell you who she, even give you a slight hint, you'll find out. She has multiple children. I'll not even tell you how many specifically. She has multiple children. Let's say, for example, she has five. Out of the f now, here's the thing. She speaks about God. She is pious. She helps the poor. She's involved in charity. She's involved in high-profile brands. She's involved in helping the poor. She's very famous. If you speak to her, she'll always bring God's name. Okay, this female. Don't worry. She she has not had an affair with me. This female who speaks about God values, who is literally, I'll give you a clue. She's Muslim. She's literally. She speaks about Quran. She speaks about values and. This woman who has five kids, she became my client. Four of her kids are of somebody else. Four of her children belong to somebody else. The fifth one is the only one that belongs to him. And the now here's a sad fact: the husband takes care of all the children, and he's under the impression all these kids are his. Now, please don't start searching where's five kids. I've told you. I've given a rough estimate. It's not exactly five. And when she was speaking to me, she was telling me how much she loves her husband and how much she believes in God. And I, for the life of me, can't wrap my head around it. So I've given you an example of both men and women cheating each other, or open relationship, or whatever you can call it. Now, what has that got to do with this movie Ludo? The problem is today, they are normalizing this kind of behavior, that it's okay for a girl to have sex with multiple partners. It's okay. Now you might turn around and say, "Loy, girl having sex is not okay, so guy having sex is okay." Now I'll tell you what the problem is here. Girl having sex, girl gets pregnant, not the boy. Boy having sex, girl gets pregnant, not the boy. So in both the ways, it's not the boy who gets nine months with the baby; it's a girl. So obviously, like, so loy, is it okay for a a boy to have sex? See, it's a very difficult subject to answer because yes, boy and girl both should be treated equally; both should be given equal rules. But the fact of the matter is, biology. Doesn't give both of them equal uh, privileges. I wish girls didn't get pregnant easily. I wish girls didn't have multiple problems. The problem is, uh, like for example, uh, I, I spoke to you the other day that girls are resorting to sex to gain the you know to gain benefits. I even know young girls who are doing porn. Was selling their nude pictures, pictures of their vagina, their body, putting stuff inside. They're selling it for money. I also know females who have who are single mothers who are sleeping around with big rich men. Now, in a perfect world, we would have women as successful as men, women having the equal number of positions as men. Uh, women dominating politics like men, but the sad fact is, it's a man's world.
Now here you have girls who predominantly in the Indian culture were taking a secondary role who underwent a lot of oppression who were treated unfairly you know you are talking of an Indian society where having a girl was considered taboo was considered inferior where they would actually abort a girl child where they would kill a girl fetus which is sad and um, you know they prefer having a boy than a girl that is why for me when I got a girl I was very happy I wanted a girl I wanted a daughter I didn't want a son but the funny thing is the minute I got a girl how many people jumped and said ah you got punished ha 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 fuck you you got treated a lesson as if having a girl was a curse no, I'm very happy my my wife wanted a boy I wanted a girl and I'm very happy I got a girl and yes many people ask me so now if a girl starts, if your daughter starts having sex, what will you do? I know plenty of questions. But the point here in this, for this video is this movie. I think it's giving a very wrong message. Very wrong message to not just girls, but to boys as well. I think it's giving a very wrong message to today's youth. That it's okay to have casual sex. That it's okay to sleep around. That it's okay to just fuck and... Yes, this has been happening from ages, but it has been happening very hush hush. But now the problem is with these movies, they're making it modern, they're making it fun, they're making it romantic, they're making it acceptable to have sex. See, the big challenge here is this in our Indian society, no matter how modern they show, uh, life, no, no matter how advanced or progressive they show, a girl having sex will never be mainstream. Single mothers will always face difficulties. Boys having sex will always be, hey, it's cool, man. It's unfortunate. <sighs> Look, I, 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 I don't give a damn about what society says. Uh, but if you have to live and coexist in society, you can't start trumpeting your own rules. And the sad fact is, if you have to live in India, you have to live within the rules prescribed by this society. Uh, me personally, that's why, because I can't fight against society, I chose to bring up my daughter as a Thai girl with a Thai passport and she will have her identity as Thai. She'll be known as a girl who had an Indian father, but she'll never have Indian roots. She'll just not. It's not that I'm ashamed of Indian values. I'm very proud of Indian values. I think Indian values, the, 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 good, the good side is beautiful. But where superstition and where all this other nonsense comes in, it's totally oppressive towards women. That is one part. The second thing is, movies like this, I think, do more harm than good. It kind of normalizes open sex. It teaches our, our youth, especially the ones with bad upbringing, bad family values, not bad family, in, in the sense where they have not been taught the realities of life where they don't have a proper relationship, that it's okay. And these girls end up being lost, girls and boys. And now you'll have boys and girls who are being taught the Western lifestyle of having sex. In fact, you know, you had these uh, girls and boys who recorded them having sex and they uploaded it on TikTok or various other platforms. They consider this modern hip and happening. And where the boy is left scot-free, the girl is made to pay the price. I really feel sad and upset for these very girls for whom they're being taught that it's okay to have sex. Sex is trivial. In fact, I know one Indian girl who literally is sleeping around with a married man and she's enjoying the perks and benefits both in the company and in society. She's getting travel benefits, she's getting 
monetary benefits. She's doing her work. But had it not been for this man, she wouldn't enjoy all these benefits. And, um, well, she can continue this until she reaches 40 or 40 plus, where afterwards the perks and benefits will stop and then she'll struggle. And then she'll come to know, now what do I do? Because my actual value is hardly anything. I don't know, I just feel this movie gives a very wrong message to today's youth. Open sex, teenage pregnancy, uh, girls, especially girls of where Indian values are concerned. I just feel it's destroying the moral fabric. And for boys, as it is, Indian guys are desperate. Every girl they see, they think of boobs and a vagina and sex. This is only going to, you know, exasperate, ex ex exasperate. Ah, I keep struggling with that word. It's just going to worsen the situation. I feel, I know, I know, it's reality. Welcome to the 21st century. End of the day, when you have a daughter, and you start wondering, okay, what kind of movies, what kind of friends, what kind of message, what kind of lifestyle these children are going to live, it, uh, it causes more harm than good. I don't know, I just feel such movies will brainwash today's youth and cause more harm, both to the boy and to the girl. You can let me know what do you think. I'm not the type of guy who says, oh, the girl should be a virgin and guy can fuck around, no. But I feel they should be a proper, I don't know, communication between both, for both, where they are made to realize, say, listen, everything has a price to pay. And for boys, just to have sex and dump the girl and then choose a virgin, I think it's double standards, I think it's shit. That is why for me, I didn't give a damn whether the girl, the girl I married was a virgin or not a virgin. But then again, not all men are the same, right? Society is not ex accepting of both the genders, right? Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. You let me know if I'm right or wrong. Am I making sense? And uh, do such movies, do they do more harm than good or is it where our society is moving or is it just the reality? Let me know your thoughts. It's me signing off. You guys take care.